Well, last year, shark attacks increased 42% from the year before. Even so, scientists say these fish are more afraid of us than we should be of them. CBS 2's Carter Evans takes a look at what's really behind the fear of sharks. Within minutes of launching the drone, I found one. We had our first sighting. He is right on the shore. He is so close. It's a juvenile great white shark, eight to nine feet long, in waist deep water off a popular Santa Barbara beach. And under the watchful eye of marine biologists from the shark lab, we go in for a closer look. Oh, he's right there. He is literally right here. For many, this is the stuff nightmares are made of. The shark is right there. Just about 10 feet off. But scientists are learning our outsized fear of so called man eating sharks is unfounded. The risk of shark attacks is extremely low. However, people's perceptions of the danger that those kind of encounters pose tends to be much higher. Psychologist Gabriella Hancock is working with the Shark Lab at Cal State Long Beach to understand what makes people so scared of sharks. Five month old babies were not afraid of sharks. So it appears as though our fear of them is learned and socially reinforced. It turns out. After falling into the water with that juvenile great white, the reaction to scramble back onto the board isn't necessary. I'm 10 feet behind a large shark, bigger than I am. I lose my balance. I fall in the water. The shark takes off. They would rather avoid something as big as a person. In fact, if you do make a move toward a shark, they tend to go the other way. Exactly. We see this over and over again. Shark Lab Director Chris Lowe says these sharks are actually afraid of us. But despite all the evidence, most people are still terrified of sharks. You're going to need a bigger boat. Scientists believe the 1975 movie Jaws caused a generation of people to develop galeophobia, an irrational fear of sharks. It greatly changed how people perceive sharks. There's even a term for it, the Jaws effect, a belief that sharks intentionally attack humans. With popular media, it influences people's attitudes and perceptions such that it exaggerates the danger that these animals pose. I think what we're starting to see is that that Jaws mentality is slowly going away. A deadly shark encounter. Shark bite. Shark attacked. Media coverage of shark attacks can still amplify people's fears, but it turns out these images of sharks and people coexisting off the coast appear to have a positive effect. There's growing evidence, scientific evidence, that people's attitudes are changing because they're getting good information. But even faced with slim odds, the fear of sharks is a hard habit to break. If I asked you, would you get in the water with me? Uh, <laughs> I'm not equipped. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'll let you go. It's important to remember these are juvenile sharks, but the big question right now is, since this was their nursery, they grew up here and food is plentiful, will they return as adults? Well, so far, none of the juvenile sharks the team have tagged have come back as adults, at least not yet. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles.